Hi, welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. I'm going to try to really quickly go through some of my books that are what I call storybooks, lap time books, um, books that are perfect for at nighttime. Um, this is a board book, so this is perfect for the youngest ones, but also as you're, um, my child's four and it's he's kind of at that age now where he talks about what he wants to be when he's older. Um, this, These are the best books for it. There's two versions. There's a lion tamer that has more animal um, ones and this one has more science based there's like spy astronaut diver submarine commander that kind of thing and it talks about um, what they could do if in that line of job but at the end it says you don't have to decide just have fun playing kind of thing it's so fun of course you know nibbles and if you don't oh my gosh you have to you have to get this one this is a must um, this is all about a crazy book monster that likes to eat his way through books and what he does is he changes the storyline of those books and how clever is this? It's like a book within a book with things to jump through, little things for older kids in there that the youngest ones won't understand, but just enough for the young one to understand to actually be obsessed with these books. Like, your kid's going to love it. I read it to Weston's uh, preschool class, and they all wanted it at the book fair. So at the end, you catch the monster, and oh my gosh, he gets out. So it's totally a great little adventure book. Tale of Two Beasts. This is a um, two-perspective book. So the first part tells from the perspective of a little girl who... Um, happens upon a little beast and adopts him and makes him her little pet um, and supposedly he's in love with her and totally loves being a pet but not really because then the second part of the book talks about how he is not happy because he's been abducted and ambushed and um, it's from a different perspective so and at the end um, when he escapes they he comes back and they realize that they're they're friends anyway so it's about friendship in weird places but also different perspective for the older kids when they can start understanding that um, the river is so beautiful guys this is look at this look at these illustrations look at that it's so fantastic and then that hologram of the fish it's all about this little fish's journey to join his family and it's or her journey Sorry, I'm trying to get it to move. It's hard to do on here. There you go. Um, so, of course, your child is going to be obsessed. And Weston has me read this so many times. And then every page, he has, he has to move the page. So, um, Dan the Taxi Man is one of my favorites just because it's got such a fun rhythm. And um, it's good for older kids. So, um, I don't think your kid's too old for this stuff. So, here's Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man. And, like, Weston has to do the beep, beep. That's his thing. So, he comes um, come inside while you still can. Beep, beep the taxi man. So here comes Marlene with her tambourine. Shake a shake crash, shake a shake crash. And it kind of goes through like that with all these different musical instruments. Um, they're members of a band that are getting picked up to go to their show and at the end they realize they're missing something and it's Dan. Beep beep the taxi man. Um, this one is called Blue Whale Blues. It's all about the whale. He's singing the blues because he is sad. Um, Penguin comes along and he's the happy-go-lucky guy and he's trying to stop um, the whale from being sad and he it's a, just a cute little story about how to how to help your friends be happy by looking on the bright side of things Billy B is a familiar character Jack is in here too if you haven't heard of them um, this is a great introduction to them because they have chapter books as the kids get older um, but this is the first one and these are picture books and there's a couple more coming this summer I believe and um, they go on adventures in their preschool class like it's imaginary based play and it's just a really fun take on it. So this one's under the sea, and then there's another one that is the desert. Um, if you have a child who suffers from anxiety or just nervousness with social aspects or is just afraid of a lot, this is such an amazing book to add. It's great for adults, too, to tell you the truth. Um, it's what if um, it's about all of your little fears. Like, what if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? It goes through all these, like, what ifs of, like, trying things, trying new things. And then at the end, it says, wait a second. What if the stuff works out? What if you do well? What if you make a new friend? Um, so it's it's in a rhyming way, though. So it's even more enjoyable. And there is a What If Monster plush you can get to go with it. Hello, picture books that are beautiful. Hi, Cinderella. We have Goldilocks and Three Bears. Um, I think Jack and the Beanstalk and a couple others. Everybody loves these. Look at these illustrations. They blew me away. I just don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be this pretty. But um, some of the stories are a little bit different from what we know and love through Disney. But the stories are still just total classics to have on your, and it's kind of like that hardback cushion. So it's just an overall amazing quality picture book. We have a hungry one, and we have a dirty one. This one is the dirty one. Um, the hungry one uses chocolates and cocoa and sprinkles to illustrate. This one uses actual mud and dirt. There's a cadence and a rhythm to the book, so it's really good for beginning readers. They start memorizing stuff. I never have a wash, I just shake about the place. Shake, 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 shake about the place. So there's like a little fun little singing song dance you can do with it. 
um, to get them excited. And then you can always pair it with an art project and make your own stuff with dirt and mud. Um, there's the illustrated, they're the illustrated um, series. So this one's the Illustrated Classics. Look at all of these illustrations. They're beautiful. Every page has illustrations and there's text. So there's so many stories. Um, some of them are a little longer than others. So sometimes you might not be able to finish the whole thing in one night. But they're seriously jam-packed with it. And there's enchanting stories. There's classics. There's adventures. There's Hans Christian Andersen. There's Shakespeare. And there's also this 10-minute stories. Um, it's a little bit less of a collection than those, those bigger ones. But it's kind of got that same... Thing. This one is a little different. So the five minute stories, they're a little bit shorter. There's not illustrations on every single page. I mean, there is, but they're smaller. Um, Weston likes to play, we call them big boy stories, where he has to close his eyes and imagine stuff. So it's a really great way to transition. Um, and these are perfect for bedtime, the perfect length, and they're really soft, feel good stories too. So it, you can end the night on a good note. So anyway, those are just a few of my favorite storybooks and um, please explore the rest of them and let me know if you have any suggest or questions or um, you need to find something else that you didn't see here. So thank you for joining. Happy reading.